On the venture capital side, long-dated transformative technologies will always be very exciting. I, I consistently am just interested in where kind of fusion is, is going to go. But I think that um, if nearer term, if you're thinking about kind of pre-2030, which is what we all really need to be thinking about in terms of this you know, resilience to climate events, uh, which seem to be getting worse and worse, is what can you build now that might enable you know, new economy in the future? And, and to Lisa's point, power... Um, a power equipment, which is going to be needed in the balance of plant for any kind of form of, uh, of power generation. So things like high temperature superconductors, um, which you can use both in fusion and in other applications, you can use them also to upgrade existing grid lines to take more power over longer distances. It's still kind of early stage technology, but I think that's something that, you know, for the same given grid, so we don't even need to build more lines, we could have more power being transmitted. That would be, you know, a material and very low hanging fruit change that we could make to um, kind of build the transmission and distribution whilst we're also building the, the generation side.